if you're a plot-oriented writer, you may want to go directly to the plot progression area. Here, for each of the four essential through lines, you can choose the kinds of subject matter that it will appear in the beginning, the middle, and the end. In this manner, you can actually structure your entire story from a plot perspective and have all the other aspects of your story, thematic and character-wise, fall into place with that. If you're an inspirationist writer who doesn't like to structure first, however, but you still like to work with plot before anything else, you can come here and double-click on this little white area and put in all of the key events or kinds of topics that are explored for each of those four through lines from the beginning, the middle, and the end. And then later, either here in the plot progression area, you can assign the kinds of topics that best describe what you wrote in your storytelling in order to create a structure or you can refer to what you've written elsewhere in the software and use other structuring tools to do the same job. There are also a number of other features that favor the plot-oriented writer spread throughout the Dramatica software. The query system, for example, presents many different question paths which deal with all aspects of story structuring and storytelling. Here in the story forming or story structuring area, for example, you could zero in on plot. Clicking on this will bring up a list of questions that pertain specifically to the structuring of plot. After you've done this, you can move on to the story encoding area, which is where you illustrate the story points that you've already developed in your structure. But if you're an inspirationist writer who likes to work with the storytelling first, then you could come here to this question list, develop some plot items in storytelling, and then later return to the plot story structure area to figure out exactly which structural points best support the kinds of choices you've made in your story illustrations. And after you've done both of these in either direction, you could come down to plot story weaving in order to determine an exposition plan for how you'll be unfolding information about your plot to your audience. Here in the story engine, you can also find some tools that are specifically designed for plot the plot dynamics. Here you can determine whether your story will be driven by action or by decision. You can determine if your story is drawn to a conclusion by running out of time or running out of options. This choice has a big impact on how your story will feel. The outcome is either going to be success or failure, but regardless of success or failure, is the overall feel of the story at the end good or bad? These basic plot dynamic elements will have a lot of impact on how your plot unfolds and where it ends up. In the Story Points window, you can get a complete list of all of the story points that Dramatica tracks, including many that are pertinent to plot. Using the pull-down menu, you can go directly to the plot points. And here, you can see all the central plot points like goals, consequences, and requirements, and even some that are a little more detailed, like prerequisites, preconditions, and forewarnings. Plus, you also get the entire progressive plot point list for all four essential through lines. Here, Objective Story Signpost 1. If you've already done some structuring, you may have a complete structure which will list all of the different plot points by the kinds of events or kinds of topics that will be explored in each signpost. Then, you can simply come to Storytelling and illustrate that particular topic as to how it will actually come into play in your story. But if you're more of an inspirationist writer, you may want to be doing your storytelling first, following the muse and just describing what you think ought to happen next. Signpost 1 in Objective Story, this happens. Signpost 2, this happens. And when you've described that, then elsewhere in the software, you can go and make your structural choices based on the words you've already written so that the structure reflects the free-form storytelling you've already done. When you've developed some items in your plot, you may want to check out the reports. And going up here to the pull-down menu, you can select specifically the plot reports, which gives you an overview master report of everything that's going on, story points plot report, which lists the specific story points and their illustrations, the signposts and journeys, which give you the specific moments and events that occur in your story for all four essential through lines, and also the plot sequence report, which is really interesting because it shows you the thematic concerns that are going on at each point in the progression of your plot. And don't forget to check out the Dramatica Dictionary, where you can look up information on all kinds of plot points, including the goal, 
prerequisites, preconditions, some things you may never have even thought of using before. And by just reading this more of an encyclopedia than a dictionary, you can get some really creative ideas about how to improve your plot. Finally, don't forget to check out the help area, because it's not just for help in using the software, but in Dramatica, A New Theory of Story, in the Elements of Structure, you'll find a whole area devoted specifically to plot points, how to use them.